This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. <gasps> Gravity. What? Gravity makes things go down. Obviously. No, because like, why don't things fall sideways? Because how would that work? We just gonna fall sideways forever? Is that the world you want to live in? Hey, you ever notice that things don't move until you move them? How's that possible? Are you okay? And then they keep Ow. moving until you stop them from moving? Like, what? Are you coming to the party tonight? I said you'd be cool. Hey, you think if I push that twice as hard, it would move twice as fast? Seems reasonable. I think this will be really big one day. I highly doubt that. What is the area under x squared from like zero to three? That's gonna drive me crazy. Where did that come from? And if that's my position over time, like what's my velocity? And how do we profit off that? We could go on Shark Tank. You think that's related to the area thing? You really have to get laid. Do you think Claire is attracted to me? Okay, yes. Now we can talk. Here, how about you, like if we're at a party and I take her mass. Oh my God. And then multiply it by my mass and then divide that by the distance between us squared. I think that's probably like a constant multiple of the force that we feel towards each other. And I don't know, I just think that's kind of beautiful. But she's like a six, so I don't know. Maybe don't use that as a pickup line. You think when things fall, the earth actually moves up just a little bit? Thought that was just a conspiracy. But just like a little, like not even that. What if all of space and time is like a giant sheet and earth folds that sheet in and we fall towards it. <laughs> That's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Never try again. Hey, you know how finding the zeros of polynomials can be like a total bitch sometimes? Yeah, I'm kind of working on something for that. I could tell you, but you have to sign an NDA. How about you work on finding a woman? Cause zeros of polynomials don't make you go to brunch every Sunday. Here, let me sell you on this. Okay. What are the zeros of this polynomial? I... Don't know how to solve that. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. <gasps> Just thought of a third law. Gotta test it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get going. Captain's log. The results are in. And after punching him in the face, my hand hurts. How's that possible? Dude! Now my hypothesis is that the forces will be equal, but opposite. Hey, how would you describe your pain? Scale of one to 10. 10! Dude, me too. Hurts like a bitch. Just as expected. The forces were equal, but opposite. How's that possible? Why did you punch me? You think you're mad? I punched you and my hand hurts. How's that fair? I mean, if we're being honest, I'm the one who should be upset. And you know who at? God. He's the one who made these laws the way they are. I do blame him a little. Hey, you notice that things always move in the direction you move them? Should we be writing this down? Wow, dude, that's some revolutionary stuff there. What are you trying to accomplish? Science. People are dying of the plague. And we don't have toilets. Like, there are more important matters. But things aren't moving when you don't move them. And that's, like, not written anywhere in the Ten Commandments. So, what's going on? Why did you punch me? Of all people. Leibniz isn't here. Like, why not someone else? Or something else? It had to be a random sample. I think this is gonna be so big one day. Okay. I'm okay. Science must always be repeatable. Captain's log. The results are in. But why did you use a bat this time? Well, I didn't want to hurt my hand. Oh. Wait. <gasps> the bat's dented. How's that possible? And the dent matches his jawbone perfectly. Equal, but opposite. You think this is why Bruno was burned at the stake? Because I get it. But it should really rhyme. Hey, what do you think of, for every action, there's an equal and opposite re-action? Not true. Have you ever tried talking to protesters? I think this is going to be really big. You have got to stop saying that. And why can't you use anything other than my face? Well, we don't have force sensors yet, so this is what we have to do. Make one. Now. Or there's going to be a science crusades real soon, led by me. Well, that's going to cost a lot. Hey, can I borrow five bucks? Fundraise. 
You supply and demand. Ask the church. I don't care. Okay. Hey, buy this chair. Dude, that's my chair. This is the FlexiSpot C7 Premium Ergonomic Office Chair. This self-adaptive chair is a game changer because with other non-scientific chairs, my posture would just go down the drain because that's the way gravity acts. But with the C7 chair, there's adaptive back support that'll adjust with your body to complement every posture. You can also adjust the headrest, armrests, seat depth, as well as the back support for a fully customized fit that allows you to recline up to 128 degrees. So if you have to spend long hours being seated for school or work or procrastinating, the C7 chair will help relieve pressure and prevent fatigue. So click the link below and use code BDC7 for an additional $30 off their C7 Premium Ergonomic Office Chair.